Hey y'all, it's Tiffany Miller with Miller's Mad Creations and today I wanted to show you my tips and tricks for using good notes. Some of the tips that I use every day. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to import stickers. So if you want to add a sticker, you go to this little box right here with the moon and the mountain and you click on it twice and then you find the image that you want to add. This image is actually a JPEG so it has background behind it. So another tip that I want to show you is how to get a lot of that out. So we're going to hit this little button right here. We're going to hit crop and we're going to click on freehand. You can take your time. I'm just going to go real fast and then we're going to hit done. And then as you can see, of course, this looks horrible. Uh, a lot of the black, I mean, a lot of the white is gone that we took out of there. So you can take your time and really get in there if you want and then you just size it down and put it wherever you want. So after you get a sticker and if you like the sticker and you want to use it, you're going to take your lasso tool and you're going to circle it and tap and then you're going to hit copy. Now I have a little sticker book that I have over here and I'm going to take it and long press and hit paste. So here's my sticker and I'm going to put it to whatever size I need to save it to make room and it's there for whenever I need to use it again. Another trick for getting stickers in, if you have a sticker pack and you have them saved in your files or somewhere, you can pull it up in the split screen and we're going to find our stickers. Here are four rectangles I want to use and I want to make sure they're all the same size. So let me get a page that's clean. Okay. And I'm going to take and I'm going to grab them and I'm going to pull them in. And I'm not going to size them until I get all of them in. So I have all four in. I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to select all of them. And then I'm going to hit resize. So now if I want to move them, you see that they move together. So whenever you get that, the trick is to hit your image button and then click on each individual picture and it will move it separately. So now I have all four of my images the same size and I can select them all and resize them again if I want and use them wherever. And then again if I want to save these I can copy them and bring them over to my sticker book and paste and they'll be there for me to use later. Okay, so another thing that I like to use my planner for, um, whenever I had a paper planner, I would go through and I would write my bills and stuff down throughout the month. So let me go find my month. So here's my August month and it has my numbers already put in there. So what I want to do is I want to be able to use this page with all the links and everything. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to hit copy page. And then I'm going to find where I want to put it. So I have my bills tab already set up um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it behind this section so I'm gonna click plus on the plus sign right here and I'm gonna paste the page and this is gonna put the page right behind this page and now all of my numbers are already there I don't have to go back through and renumber it because I was able just to copy it and all of my links and everything are still gonna work just the same as the original one did. So say I want to save this page to get to it quick. I know that I can click on this link right here and it's going to bring me to this page, but I want to jump to this page right here. I'm going to go click my little four squares right here. And here's my page. You can see that it's highlighted in blue. I'm going to tap right here and it is saved. So now if I hit my favorites, you can see that it's there. And also if I'm already on this page, I can click this little red ribbon right here and it's going to take it off or remove it. So now it's not there. If I click it again, now it's there. So I could just come through real quick, click on that, and it's going to take me to this page no matter where I'm at in the planner. 
So that's just another way that's easy to jump around if you don't have a link directly to it. So the next thing that I want to show you is say you write something and say you don't like that color. You can come get your lasso tool and select and hit color and then you can change it to a different color. If you realize that you don't like this, another trick, you can either come up here and hit the undo button or you can actually double tap and it will undo everything that you did. So instead of clicking up here, undo and redo, you can just double tap. Another thing you could do with your text is highlight it and hit convert and it's going to convert it, your handwriting, to text. And then you can hit this little button right here, little save button, and you can copy it. And then you can hit paste, and it's going to paste it as text. Now I already have my text saved with a favorite font, but you can come in here and double tap, come to your font menu over here. If you don't know how to add fonts to your iPad, I have a video for that and I will link it below or put a card somewhere. So be sure to watch. And then there is my font. I also can take, let me get my lasso tool. I can highlight, I can convert to text and I can copy and then I can pull up my calendar on the side over here in a split screen and then I can actually add an event by pasting what I already have written in my planner and then I can come in and give it some times to go off and remind me and any more information and create an event so I'll get a notification in my calendar. So that is another way that you can use your text. Another thing that you can do Say I want to open up my sticker book that's in my planner. I can come over here to my thumbnails and here are my stickers. I can click right here and I can open in a new window and it's going to open it in a split screen. So that if I want to just be able to drop and drag, I can do that. And there I have another easy way to use my sticker book. So these are just a few of my tips and tricks for using a GoodNotes 5. I hope that you found this video informational and that it helps you out and helps you get started with GoodNotes a whole lot quicker. If there's something I didn't cover or you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this video informational and helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'll be adding more videos. We're actually in the process of moving and packing and trying to sell and buy a house. So things might be a little different or a little crazy, but I do intend on still putting content out as much as possible. So with that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the comments.